Hello. Top of the morning. Consider yourself at home. <laughs> Consider yourself part of the family. <laughs> I, I may be over I may be overdoing it on the British accent. I don't all the time show what I say or do uh, when I'm testing out if everything is good or not, but I thought I'd share <laughs> that little uh snippet from my testing there. Anyway, hello world though, this is Wolfstar Games and welcome back to more AI the Somnium Files. Last time, Date went over uh, the crime scene of Renju's murder, and we came to find what could uh, potentially be a important piece to uh, Renju's murder. I mean, maybe. I mean... We don't know exactly what significance his watch holds, but I guess we'll find out eventually. I'll be interested to see wh what significance his watch holds in conjunction with his murder, if it does at all. I mean, I, I assume there's some importance with his watch. I mean, it's like, why was it left behind? Why was it in that oil drum? I guess all my answers, I guess all my answer, answers, answers, her, 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 her. <laughs> I guess all my answers will eventually be all my answers, all my questions. <laughs> Boy, I'm all over the place today. Oh, uh, where we'll see what all oh, we'll see what. The answers are to my questions. Oh my god. <laughs> I guess I really am all over the place today. But uh, it's not like I'm tired or anything. I, and uh, I'm not like high. <laughs> I mean, I don't do drugs, but j just to put that out there. But anyway, we'll uh, finally get back into the game here. I, I guess I should actually say that I'm just in a good mood uh, regardless. I mean, and it's not like I... It's not like anything really happened in my life that warranted me to be in a really good mood, but... Nonetheless, I'm in a good mood today. So... Okay, well... We left off just about to go to one of three places. Is it Lemniscate, a Matsushita Diner, or what was the third place? I can't remember. I think it's. A, I think it was a place that we haven't been to yet. How are you doing, Inspector? K K Kagami, Kagami. I remembered your name. <laughs> the inspector is investigating something. It's like, wait, what, wasn't he kneeling down last time? Now he's standing up. Huh. Anyway. And that was it. Golden Yoko Cho. So I kind of want to go there first. Because we've never been there before. We've already been to Matsushita Diner and Lemniscate. I mean, be it ever so briefly at both places. But we've never been to Golden Yokocho, so I kind of want to go here first. Yeah, let's go here. It's like, what exactly is this place? I mean, it... Uh, I believe, if I remember correctly, that uh, Mizuki said that it's an uh, entertainment industry place. Is this it? 
Is it? I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You know about this place? Seems kind of like a quaint place. Yeah. This is where I met Renshu for the first time. Hmm. Interesting. Didn't think this was your kind of spot. <laughs> it's like... She... She just said, interesting, I I tend to say that. <laughs> this place is special. You can find all sorts of shady characters here. It's the best place for gathering information about a case. Okay. So that's why. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> it's like, I, I'm just like Mizuki, apparently. Interesting. <laughs> that is only a partial truth. It is? Shut up. Huh? It's like, did I make a face when I said that? <laughs> Let's head inside. It's like, does Mizuki know about Aiba? I, I kind of get the feeling that she doesn't. Oh my. Where is everyone? Well, that poster that I immediately saw. <laughs> that place is kind of dead, isn't it? It's been like this for a while. Not many people come here anymore. Why is that? Mama should be here soon, though. Mama? Okay. I feel a certain uh, kinship to Mizuki. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. In other, news. <laughs> In other news? At 6.10 p.m. yesterday, on the outer circle of the Capital City Highway in Minato District, Tokyo. Oh, God. The, the English pron pronunciation of that. Minato? Minato. A traffic collision occurred involving five cars and at least one truck. MPD has arrested the driver of the truck suspected to be the cause of the accident for negligence. Huh. When did he say this happened? 6, 10 p.m. yesterday. Okay. I was so focused on him mispronouncing uh, Minato. Then again, it's the English dub. The investigation is ongoing. Hmm. Okay. Th this is what I immediately saw. This picture. A picture on the wall. It's a little odd, to say the least. <laughs> It's like it, it look, it kind of looks. I don't know. It, it kind of looks like it shouldn't be in here. I mean, it, I feel like this is the kind of thing that you'd like kind of find in a art gallery, not so much like a bar. Essentially. Man, I could use a drink. No, you're driving. I was the responsible one. <laughs> Can't you just drive? How? Indeed I can. Oh, she can. Well... I guess she could, couldn't she? I mean... We've seen... We've seen her in the steering wheel so when she's in the steering wheel can she actually like steer the car but i refuse why yeah why nothing good comes of you being drunk it, i mean we've never known date to be drunk so <laughs> i kind of i'm kind of curious I'm kind of curious of how he is when he's drunk. 
There's a TV on the wall. Date, what was that weird show you used to watch? Weird show? The one with the girls running in slow motion. Um... Well, uh... <laughs> Uh, does he watch that kind of thing on TV when Mizuki is present? Or has she snuck a peek? Oh my god. What was so good about it? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> right, Date? Everything. I can't believe I just called this line. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, what's on the menu? It's a menu. It has writing on the back. Nothing on the menu? Beer tap? Beer tap. I don't want to get drunk. I just want to be sobriety impaired. <laughs> Allow me to ruin your stupid joke before you say it. <laughs> it's not stupid. <laughs> it's like, it's not stupid. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> uh, it... Oh, Date. <laughs> it's like, what is going through your head? Uh, refrigerator. A refrigerator. Hey, Mizuki. You mind cleaning some of your stuff out of the fridge at home? What kind of stuff does she have in the fridge? Not gonna happen. Okay, now, uh, now I'm really curious what she has in the fridge at, back at home. Bottles on counter. There are bottles lined up on the counter. Let's count them! <laughs> Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine. <laughs> oh, I can examine them again. Nine. Nine bottles. There are nine bottles on the counter. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. <laughs> I am in a silly mood. <laughs> Just kidding, there are 18. <laughs> Why did he double them? Is he seeing double? That's how many there are. <laughs> Let's count carefully. <laughs> oh, Dante. There are 18 bottles lined up on the counter. Okay. <laughs> and he's sticking to it. Oh, radio. There's music playing over the radio. And it's kind of like, uh, smooth jazz. That's what it sounds like. Poster? There's a poster on the wall. The talented Mr. Dickley. Mr. Dickley, huh? I wonder what that is. Do I even want to know with the, t with the title of it being... The talented Mr. Dickley. Blackboard. The specials are written on the chalkboard. Slip slippers in tomato soup? Excuse me? <laughs> slippers in tomato soup? I'm so confused. The specials are written on the chalkboard. Okay. Okay, I, I've... I've never actually had tomato soup, but I w definitely would not want to have tomato soup with slippers in them. <laughs> it's like, I excuse me while I take my s excuse me while I take my slipper and put it into some tomato soup. <laughs> it's like, mmm. Um, awfully good, right? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, interesting. Even when I don't have any dialogue go going, I can s switch 
auto on and off. Huh. Okay, well, I, I, I guess all that's left is to talk to, Miz to Mizuki. <clears throat> Mizuki is sitting next to me. Uh, let's see. Uh, the, it's been a long time since we did this. The, <laughs> yeah, did this. In order for me to properly read that, I have to s switch auto on and off. That's that's really weird. Anyway, uh, having fun at school about Renju, or are you tired? Uh, having fun at school? It's okay. Is it? Yup. Such riveting conversation. <laughs> Dots. Dot. Dots. Do you have a lot of friends? I hope she does. Yeah. But I don't really like my elementary school friends. They're too immature. I have more fun with Iris and Ota. Hmm. I mean, w with the way that she, like, acts around Date and the way she talks to him, I, I imagine that she... Is kind of the same with her elementary school friends. I mean, she she seems way too mature for her age, and that and that ha, it must be why she is uh, more friendly with Iris and Ota. I mean, it's like why not have friends who are you know older than you. I don't find anything particularly wrong with that. I don't know if they're too immature. You're just very mature for your age. Yes. You think so? Very much so. The kids at school are so stupid. They gossip about who had their first kiss for days. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh... It's like, oh, what about you, Mizuki? Have you had your first kiss yet? Or maybe I shouldn't be asking that. I don't see why that's anyone's business. I that that's fair, I guess. <laughs> I mean, Mizuki's a lot more private, isn't she? These grade schoolers move fast. <laughs> Sometimes too fast. Nowadays, right? No, not really. It's pretty normal nowadays. It's like, what's normal nowadays was not so normal when, like, I was a kid. Well, you... You haven't kissed anyone yet, have you? He's actually asking her this. No, I'm not interested in that. It's like... I kind of thought not. Oh, thank God. <laughs> it's like, uh, phew. <laughs> okay. Uh, are you tired? No. And what do you mean by that? I'm just checking. Nothing. Just let me know when you're tired. You can go home anytime you want. Yeah. You aren't really worried about me, you just think I'm annoying, right? No, not at all, Mizuki. Don't beat around the bush, just say it. I just did. But you know what? It wouldn't matter anyway, because I'm not going home. It's been a long time since we did this. Did what? Sat at a table together like this. Except... They're not sitting at a table, they're sitting at the bar. We haven't eaten dinner together in a while. Uh, what with him being too busy with his work? Especially seeing that he's a police officer. I mean, I imagine they uh, don't see each other uh, too terribly often and don't get, like, much, uh, you know, private time. 
you know, to spend time with each other. After I finish working on this case, we should do it again. Oh, is that... Is that back at their home? Why? Because of what happened to my mom and daddy? I don't need that. Oh, come on, Mizuki. It's like, you, you, you need... You're 12. You need some, you know, parental guidance. And now that your parents are gone, Date's the only one in your life who can provide that. Date, this is where you need to take a stronger role as her guardian. Exactly, yes. Data suggests that children who eat alone are prone to mental imbalances and poor physical condition. Hmm. I, I'm... I wouldn't be surprised if that is actually true in real life. The meals you prepare do have sufficient nutritional content. However, you need to make sure that Mizuki is eating all of it. Otherwise, your effort is wasted. Right, yeah. Uh, Mizuki, we should at least have one meal together. I told you, I don't want to. Well, come on, Mizuki. Why not? Because, um, I don't like how you hold chopsticks. It makes me sick. How does he hold chopsticks? <laughs> really, now? People have always told me that I have good technique. Some even say it's beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> it's disgusting. Too clean. The what? Too clean? How is that disgusting? <laughs> Besides, there's no point in eating together. Yes, there is. Why is that? Because you don't talk when you're eating. I mean, that could pose a little bit of a problem. It's like, I mean, I, I remember as a kid when the times we would sit at the kitchen table, all of us eating and, you know, just sometimes just talking about your day is just is enough to know what your, you know, your child is doing what, and, what your, and what your parents are doing. So... It's like, it just provides some, you know, family time. So, that's what Mizuki and Date need to do. Have some alone time, some family time together. To, you know, get to actually know them, to know each other more. That way... That way they have a closer relationship and Mizuki more than likely as a result would trust Date more. Even though that she even though that he's not actually like her father or you know or related by blood in any way. It's like she she needs someone to take care of her while she's still, you know, this young. So, it's like she can't go through life on her own right now. I mean, she, she still needs some, you know, mental growth. And Date is the one who can provide that. Anyway, I guess that's my TED talk for the day. <laughs> I don't like sitting in silence. Well, we don't have to be quiet. True, yes. It's fine, I don't like hearing you talk either. Oh, come on, Mizuki. 
<laughs> it's like just the, just the look on his face. Like, mm. And he's not talking now, so it's like, <laughs> it's like, I, I don't like hearing you talk. Silence. It's like, okay, I'll just clam up. <laughs> I believe she has entered her teenage rebellion phase a year early. You know, I never really had that phase personally. I mean, I was... I was always a good kid. But... I mean... I... I tend, I mean, when I was when I was a kid, I was very, uh, very introverted, uh, way way more than I am now. I mean, it's like, yes, I'm, I've always been introverted, but it's but throughout the course of my life, it's been more of a progression of going from being extremely introverted to being more a little more outgoing I mean I'm not so introverted to the point where I can't handle people or you know big crowds granted I would never be able to go to like a concert it's like that that kind of exposure, you know, that many people, that much sound, I would definitely have a hard time with, for sure. And add on to that, the f of the fact that I have Asperger's. I had mentioned that I have Asperger's before, uh, back in my uh, Let's Play of uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Just to kind of reiterate that for people who already know, and to bring it up again for anyone who doesn't know that about me. So, it, and I haven't let my Asperger's really rule my life. I mean, I didn't find out that I had it until I was in college. So... There's that. Anyway. Oh, this is gonna be rough. With all the, uh, small stuff out of the way, now let's talk about Renju. Hey, Date. What did you and Daddy used to talk about when you were here? I'm sure a lot of things. Hmm. Huh. I don't remember a lot of it. I was usually drinking pretty hard. Hmm. Don't worry. I have everything recorded. <laughs> okay. <laughs> everything? In fact, the conversation about you taking care of Mizuki took place here, at Marble. Okay. I'm really curious of that conversation. Really? The topic was brought up several times afterward. But the first time was here. Four years ago, after drinking enough liquid courage, Renju asked you to take care of Mizuki. So it was a personal favor? Huh. At the time, Renju was recently divorced, buried in work at Lemniscate, and mentally unstable. I, I guess he would be mentally unstable... From being recently divorced, I guess. So it's like I, I can I can understand his reasoning why he asked Date to look after Mizuki. It was a display of excellent judgment. It was a good thing that he managed to swallow his pride. Hmm. You think so? Sometimes, I don't think it was the right move.
I'm thinking otherwise. I mean, look what happened to Renju. N not to mention his ex-wife. You should have more confidence. I guarantee you that it was the best decision. Yeah, I, I agree with Ima. Let's hope so. Dante, honey. Long time no see. Okay, so your mama. She... Well, she looks uh, rather extravagant. <laughs> also, I, I swear her voice sounds like a uh, kind of masculine. Hey, mama. How have you been? Oh, tired and sore, but not in a fun way. And that definitely sounds masculine. <laughs> Watch the innuendo in front of the kid. <laughs> oh, who is this? Renju's daughter. Hi, nice to meet you. Oh, you're... I... Oh, it must have been hard. She's pretty broken up about Renju's death as well. I mean, with, uh, with that little sniffle. And uh, also her face portrait kind of conveys that as well. I saw on the news. It's okay. Really. Oh, it must have been so hard. Stupid Ren. What was he thinking leaving his little girl like this? I mean, it, it, it's not his fault, right? I hope it's not his fault. I mean, we don't know the circumstances behind his murder. Not to mention Shoko's. <laughs> so I cry it out. It's like dots all around. <laughs> Hey, Mama. I wanted to ask you some questions about Renju. Oh, I guess crying isn't going to solve the thing, is it? But it'll make you feel better. Go ahead. Ask away. In the long run, anyway. I'll help any way I can. Well, thank you. It's like, whoa, what was that little, uh, hand wave? It's like, I... Oh, I, I can talk to Mizuki more. Uh... Well... I kind of feel like I should talk to Mizuki first because it... I feel like Mama would progress things a little more. Uh... Then again, I've been talking to Mizuki. Mama is polishing a dried bonito fish. A bonito fish. Okay. It's part of her daily routine. Hmm. Come to think of it, I have no idea why. Is it like some kind of good luck charm? I think I'll ask her one day when the time is right. Uh, how's business? Not bad. Hey, that's good. I want you to keep this place open as long as you can. It makes me feel sad and old when a place I used to visit closes down. Oh, that's why it's dead in here. Well, then you should visit more often. I could hook you up in more ways than one. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> just the one way is fine. Thanks. Oh, <laughs> uh, I read you as has had to have been a regular here. He has. He has to have been. Or was. I haven't seen him for a while. 
I thought I was going to shrivel up and die of boredom without you boys around. Shrivel up? You look like a purple water balloon. <laughs> oh my god, Date, have some tact! <laughs> That's right. Care to give me a poke? Uh... <laughs> uh... Not particularly. I'll pass, thanks. Oh boy. Have you heard any rumors about Renju? Anything about grudges, disputes? Is it okay to talk in front of Mizuki? She may not look it because of her age, but she's stronger than you think. Yes, I want to be here. Trust me, you couldn't drag her away. Uh, that too. <laughs> if you say so. Apparently, Ren had some connections with the Kumakura gang. Kumakura gang. That, that isn't like the Yakuza or, or something, is it? Or is it just a kind of a low-life gang? Date? A gang? It's like, what, what was that, uh... I want to call it pulsing about. Yeah, real rough customers. This is their turf. What is this, the 50s? Their turf. So Daddy was involved with gangsters. Mizuki, that company Shoko was running, were they also tied to the Kumakuras? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, that's... That's a pretty good question, actually. Hmm. It's like, maybe the... Maybe the Kamakura gang... is tied to, uh... Shoko and Renju's murders? In some way? Maybe? But then again... It doesn't particularly seem like a very, you know, gang, gangster kind of way to, you know, showcase your, uh, your, co the corpse. Hmm. Okay, Mizuki. Uh, let's see. Uh, are you scared of Mama? Not really. I was just curious. Just curious. <laughs> oh, don't worry, honey. I don't bite. I would hope not. It's like, it's like you're not a shark, are ya? I'm only aggressive when it comes to men 20 through mm, 65. Well... <laughs> Or that's a pretty uh big age gap there. Twenty to sixty-five. And and also define aggressive. That's a pretty wide range. Yeah. Gotta widen my net for a catch like you, Date, honey. Uh, I I feel like after this I'm gonna need like a cold shower. <laughs> I think I'll ignore that one. <laughs> I think I'll ignore it as well. <laughs> uh, is this your first time at a place like this? Yeah, I mean, at some fish pocket they served alcohol, but I've never been to a bar like this. Well, it, there, you would never have any real need to come to a bar here like this, Missouri. I mean, she's 12. It's like... She, sh she shouldn't be going to any bar, really. But... Then again... 
her coming here now is all business, not for, you know, relaxation. Well, I would hope not. You're in elementary school. Well, Daddy invited me along sometimes, but I was too shy to go. Why would her dad invite her to go to a bar, of all places? Good call. Yes, good call. I was planning on going one day. When you're older, right? When I was old enough to drink. Good girl, good girl. I wanted to go to a bar with Daddy. And from what I understand, the drinking age in Japan is... What is it? I believe 20? I may have to double check that. I heard that shady characters hang out here. Are uh, you insinuating that Mama is a shady character, Mizuki? So who are you and how do you fit in? She is wise beyond her years. <laughs> that getting to the heart of the matter. Who? No one special. Yeah, we. I'm just a facilitator. A facilitator? People who come in here tend to have very specific interests. I help accommodate. Specific interests. Do I want to know what those specific interests are? Oh. Okay. Mama's like, uh, an informant. It's like, really, it's like, this lady is an informant. Like in a in informant. That's right, and I won't charge you this time. This time? She usually charges him. What's the charge rate? Just promise to get the bastards who did this to Ren for me. Oh, I I'll definitely make that a promise. Right, Date? Right. Right, this is for Renju. Yeah, my best friend. I promise. Zuki is curling up a little. Maybe she's intimidated by Mama. I mean, if... If I was Mizuki's age, I would be a little intimidated by her. Definitely. Is there anything else? I mean... Oh, here we go. What else do you remember about Renji? Well, there was the watch incident. Watch incident. Okay. I'm sure you remember that one. So going... It's, so it's all going back to his watch now. Okay. Watch incident? You don't remember? Uh, no. Your drunk ass spilled your beer on Ren's watch. Ren was furious, yelling about how this watch is more important than my life, or whatever. Why would he... Why would he yell that? How is a... And how is a watch... More important than your life. He blew up on you. That was the only time I've ever seen Ren that mad. Hmm. Okay. That's why I remember it so well. I mean, I... I don't want to think it, but... Is she... I, f I feel like she's kind of saying that Date might be responsible. I, but I, I don't... But I don't really think that's the case. 
I mean, I may be reading too far into it. Was it this watch? I pulled out the watch I had in my pocket. It was the one I found in the oil drum at Sunfish Pocket. Yeah, that's it. Why do you have it? Uh... <laughs> Was it at the scene? Yes, it was. She's a sharp one. Ren was given that watch by his lover. By his lover. So not by Shoko, right? Since Shoko was his wife. Wait. If, if his watch was given to him by his lover, then, I, 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 this is just an assumption on my part, then it's over this watch that was given to him by his lover that Shoko divorced him? Hmm. It was an anniversary gift, I think. Anniversary? Lover? Yeah, that, 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 sh that shocks Mizuki, and rightly so. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot Mizuki was here. No, it's fine. But of course, it wasn't an affair. This was all after he was divorced. Oh, okay. Happened after he was divorced. Okay, that just throws my theory in a tizzy. Daddy had a new lover. Hmm. Now I'm starting to think that this... A uh, lover may have some tie to Renju's and Shoko's death. Because I feel like nothing is a coincidence with this information. I'm going to the bathroom? What? Well, before I do that... Oh! Same thing with Mizuki. I'm going to the bathroom. The bathroom? Yeah, the bathroom. The place where you go bathe. <laughs> and, you know, do your business. Yeah. This place is small. The bathrooms are outside. Oh. Take care. I gave her a nod and a, a wave and left. Iba, get boss on the line. Oh, he's not actually going to the ba bathroom? Got it. What's up? Hi, boss. Mizuki is at a bar called Marble down in Golden Yokocho. Send someone over to pick her up. She's not at the hospital? No. And she's shocked by this information. <laughs> Uh, yeah, she snuck out. Mm -hmm. I took her along while I was doing some work, but I can't take her any further. Understood. I'll send someone. Counting on you, boss. Are you going to leave Mizuki here? Uh, uh, we should stay until... Uh another police officer comes to pick her up. I feel like we shouldn't leave her 
alone too long with, uh, <laughs> with Mama. Yes. Really? I can't take her into a Yakuza den. So it is the Yakuza, okay. Oh boy. Kamakura office. Who's this asshole? You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. All right. Bye then. <laughs> hey, Date. What? Ugh, I hate dealing with these chumps. Didn't you hear me? Do you want to die, old man? Oh. <laughs> oh. You bastard! <laughs> tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Sorry for the late introduction. I'm with the MPD. A cop, huh? It's like, that so, thing's... you want to explain what the fuck a cop is doing in my office? It's like, that has got some uh, moves there. <laughs> it took them out, no problem. And yes, I will explain what I'm doing in your office. I'm just gonna groove into the this smooth music here. <laughs> is that a wait? Is that a statue of a snake? Is I think we should exchange names before exchanging expletives. <laughs> name's Moma, the warhorse. Don't give a fuck what your name is. MoMA. Also, very interesting nickname, Warhorse. Why did- why are you known as the Warhorse? Alright, MoMA. I have a few things I want to ask you. What do you know about the new Cyclops serial killings? Shoko Nadami and Renju Okiura had their left eye pulled out and were murdered. And I think you know something about it. Saw it on the news. Well, of course he did, but it's like, that's not what Date is getting at, though. But we had nothing to do with it. Even if we did, we wouldn't spill to no cops. I, that's a fair point. Yeah, dragon. Okay, it's n it's not a snake. A bronze dragon. It's a cool statue. <laughs> a bronze dragon holding a golden ball. Oh, now I see it. Yeah. Golden ball, huh? What's the significance of the golden ball? A dragon holding a golden ball. Lantern. It's kind of frightening seeing all these lanterns lined up. Why is it frightening exactly? Scary lanterns. I'm confused. Scary lanterns. <laughs> Scary lanterns. <laughs> you don't have to repeat it. <laughs> It's like, yes, I do have a scary lanterns. <laughs> there are lanterns with Kamakura written on them. Okay, all the lanterns have the, the clan name on them. All right. What does a guy like the chairman need this for? All right, it's a computer. Come on. He probably just uses it for porn. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Not every man in the world is like you, Date. <laughs> 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 
there's a PC on top of the desk. Oh my god. Ivo with that zinger. <laughs> it's like, not so tough now, are you guys? Huh? Huh? Is that a knife? Yeah. That's right, he, d he did take out a knife. A knife one of them was carrying. The kind that knives nice... The kind that knives nicely at night. It just might. Oh my god. What a pun. A knife on the floor. I... I can talk to him, okay. Well, let me look at everything first. Tiger Rug, that's actually cool. Hey, Iba, look. A flying squirrel taking a nap. <laughs> a flying squirrel? Yeah, no. It is clearly a tiger. It's like, you're just not seeing Iba. It's a squirrel, not a tiger. <laughs> But I was right, it's a tiger! <laughs> it's like, you're not- you're the one who's not seeing Dante! <laughs> the company philos philosophy on the wall. If you accidentally enter a bar instead of a restaurant, don't feel obliged to order a drink. Interesting, okay. You're a bar instead of a restaurant, don't feel obliged to order a drink. Hmm. Even if the bartender gives you that order another damn drink look. That's quite the motto. Yeah. Huh. And why is that the company motto? A company philosophy is like a summary of the ideals and goals of that company. Interesting. Permit. Some kind of permit. What kind of permit is it? I want to know what kind of permit it permit it is. It's like permit me to actually examine the permit to know what the permit says. <laughs> Last month's schedule is written on the board. 21st. At Ika... Ika Kins Beatboxing for Beginners. Beatboxing, okay. Uh... I cannot beatbox. Then again, I've never tried. Partition. There's a partition set up by the doorway, probably to obscure the view from visitors. Kind of an odd thing to have in such a big room. Hey, Iba, it's pronounced partition and not partition. Oh my god. <laughs> I know how it's pronounced. It's like, what? It's like, what was that, Dante? <laughs> the fat one. He's holding his stomach in pain. Yeah, from my punch. <laughs> it's like, how's it feel now? Calling me an old man. It's like, I'm not that old. I got nothing to say to you. Of course you don't. How about you, how about you tough guy? There would be no point in talking to him in that state. Is he knocked out cold? Huh. Oh. Here we go. Now, now I can see a better view of the dragon. That is really cool. That would be one hell of a statue to have. Oh. It's like, hey, uh, Moma, can I have one of your uh, dragon statues? It's like, just put it out on my little, little itty bitty deck in front of my door <laughs> outside. It's like, that, that would... That'd be an 
interesting thing to be greeted by uh, coming up to someone's <laughs> front door. <laughs> okay, Moma. The man sitting in the chairman's seat is named Moma. Where's the chairman? <laughs> what? The chairman is right in front of you. What? I run the Kumakura gang. I'm Moma Kumakura. Got it. That can't be right. Are you, are you so sure, Dante, that, that it can't be right? The chairman of the Kumakuras is Rohan. Well, then again, I guess he would know since he's with the police. <laughs> you aren't the chairman. Yo, asshole! You need a lesson in manners? Do you need another lesson with my fist? Wait. That's Rohan. Okay. He looks big. Also, nice mutton chops. I did some research and discovered that Rohan Kumakura died last year. He died. Okay. Uh, how'd he die? He leapt to his death from the roof of a building. Suicide? Why would... Why would the chairman of the Kamakura clan commit suicide? I feel like that doesn't add up. A suicide? But MoMA did not take over last year. Who did then? MoMA took over six years ago. Hmm. Again with the six years ago. MoMA took over six years ago. Date lost his memories ar around six years ago. It's like little just little pieces of information like that just kind of makes me think that there's way more to Date's hidden memories and and seeing that we're now getting this again with the yakuza with Rohan's death just I, I don't know it it's just very suspicious six years ago uh who do I want to go with first um Shoko don't know nothing about her I know her face and her name it was on the news nothing else Shoko is part of an investment fraud scheme. And I have it on good authority that a certain Yakuza gang was helping her. Oh, that's right. Kind of forgot about that. A certain Yakuza gang. The Kam... The... I almost said Kamukura. <laughs> that's, that's completely wrong. Kumakura. It's so close to Kamakura from a completely different game. So, uh, yeah, it's like, forgive my uh, slip of the tongue there. It's so, so close. Kumakura. Wouldn't know nothing about that, cop. I don't believe you. I told you, I got nothing to say. 
Give me something, Moma. You deaf or something? Date, a minute, please. Yes, Iba? What is it? Do you see the sofa in the reception area? The, uh, which sofa? The one that uh, the gang member is on? Or the uh, vacant one? There is an ashtray on top of the coffee table. Oh. Th then you should have just said, look at the coffee table and not the sofa. What about it? It is peculiar. It's been used. Thermal imaging reveals that they are both warm. Someone was just here. The sofa and ashtray. We can deal with MoMA later. I should be focused on something else. Okay. Whoops. Wrong button. A coffee table. There's an ashtray on top of it. Ashtray. An ashtray. I see a few cigarette butts in it. I want to find out when that smoker finished it. Yeah, so do I. L3. Zoom. Eight. Cigarette butts. One of the cigarette butts. The tip is reddish. Definitely fresh. I say that <laughs> as if it's like food, <laughs> but I mean, I'm not a smoker. Hey, Iba, can you turn off the thermal vision? Sure. Klein. I see. The cigarette brand is Klein. Why is that relevant? I mean, it could be relevant, Iba. Come on. Small details will come in useful later. Yeah. Trust me. It's like... The devils in the details. The devils are definitely in the details. Hmm. Anything more? Probably not. A sofa. Sofa li. I I got that wrong. Sofa tilado. <laughs> I I was all over the place with that. <laughs> there are cigarette butts in the ashtray. So someone must have been yeah. sitting here. The question is, how long ago? Yeah. I mean, it has to be not very long ago. Oh. Okay, I, I examined the sofa on the left only to be redirected to the one on the right. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Part of the cushion is still red. Still warm. It's like, how, how long ago did they leave? Just as I thought. Was someone here recently? What are you talking about? You're the first guest today. I know otherwise. Although you are an uninvited guest. Jeez, that face. <laughs> Don't lie now. Yeah, it's like he's, he's lying through his teeth. And, and of course, I cannot trust that smile he's giving Dante. Someone was sitting on the sofa and smoking very recently. How do you know that? I know. Trust me. I just do. 
Oh, right. I remember now. Just a bit ago, one of our guys was on the sofa. I mean, there is one of them on the sofa now, but he's not sitting in the spot that is warm. Are you talking about these guys right here? And besides, weren't they both sitting at desks when we walked in? Yeah. Not possible. When I came in... You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. Yeah, he's at a desk. Who's this asshole? Desk. Yeah. Neither of them were on the sofa when Dante came in. Heh. <laughs> neither of them was on the sofa. And neither of them was smoking. Yeah. They left. Who left? Uh, an insurance salesman. An insurance salesman that worked with Shoko? Right before you came in. I don't think so. I didn't pass by anyone on my way here. Yeah, they, they left a little before Date arrived. It's like, that can, that has to be it. It's like, otherwise Date would have ran into someone on his way in here. And I happen to know this office only has one entrance and one exit. Which means... Whoever it is, they're still in this office somewhere. Oh, uh, nuts. Maybe not so much in the office, but in the next room. Like that uh, behind that door there. Let me check the back. Why you want to do that? I just wanted to say hello to our guest. See who it is. I'm telling you, you're the only one here. No, I'm not. Oh, then you won't mind me yeah. checking. <laughs> Dante being all uh, smurmy. Just get out of here, cop. I'm not leaving until I feel like it. Okay, Mama. So just sit there and be quiet. There must be someone they don't want us to see. Yeah. Somewhere behind that wall. Behind that wall? Not behind the door? The door to the next room. Hello. Who are you? Just as I thought. This must be whoever was sitting on the sofa and smoking earlier. My evolver can shoot right through this wall. I uh, let's not do any shooting. I should shoot him. No. No, no, no. Wait! Hmm. Is he not getting enough? Not getting enough? What? What? Never mind. The person behind the wall is unarmed. How can you tell? I cannot approve the use of a Volver in this situation. Damn it. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Date, mind you. Whoa, what's going on? Ah. Uh. That like. Date, a porno mag at your feet. E excuse me, I'm a what? It's like I was about to say.
before Iva said this. It, was that a whole thing that I just saw there? Like, some kind of sixth sense that Date has or something? What? Or maybe not. Oh! Okay, I actually had control there. <laughs> that actually worked. Hey, did you just shoot at me? Oh, God. Where'd he whip that out of? Hey, whoa, wait a minute. Oh my god! What is happening? This went downhill fast! Jesus! Um. Date, load a volver with explosive rounds. Okay. Aim for the dragon's gold ball on the right. Alright. The what? Oh, that. Why? Just do it! Okay! Oh, God. Ooh. This is all very... Uh, uh, uh. Okay, okay. There we go. Oh man. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. That was like a that was like a pool shot. Iba, you saved me. Secret lives of Yakuza? I let me see real quick. Secret Lives of Yakuza Wives. Huh. Okay. Wow. That... <laughs> that was... Uh, pretty amazing. Shoot the gold ball and it's just completely like a... Trick shot in pool. Wow. Everything happened as I simulated it. So, where's this porno mag? <laughs> His mind is still on the porno mag. <laughs> he does kind of have a... Uh... <laughs> he, he does kind of have a one-track mind. <laughs> You idiot. There is no adult magazine. However, I know that your reaction time is up to 3.6 times faster when you are excited. Okay. I simply took advantage of that behavior. I got that. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it's like... It's like, sorry, Dante, you're too easy. <laughs> uh... You're a grown man. Aren't you too old to be playing with toys? Shit! Hey, coward! I see you! Show your face! I know you! Who is he? That's... That's who? 
Obviously, someone Date is vaguely familiar with, I guess. But I think we'll have to save that for next time. So, we'll find out who this is next time. So, a little bit of a cliffhanger. <laughs> uh, boy. This, uh, this was an interesting, uh, venture, to say the least. Now that the Yakuza is getting involved, uh, things are going to get a little exciting, aren't they? Well, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed watching, and thank you all for watching as well. And if you enjoyed the video and want to see more, like, favorite, and claw that subscribe button to become part of the pack. And as always, everyone, I hope you all have a wonderful day or night. Where ever you may be.